Welcome to the route, everybody. Today we are going to be doing another pack opening. This time I got the Forgotten Realms Magic the Gathering crossover set here. I have my little dungeon set as well as an extra booster pack that I picked up. I kind of opened the box already just to get it so it's easier. And we'll go ahead and start with this one. But we'll move into this dungeon pack here in just a moment. Now this is the Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons Magic the Gathering crossover. But this pack is going to come with 15 collectors, which is just the holographic the graphic cards. And it comes with 10 traditional foils, 5 rares and mythics, and 2 extended art cards. So, let's get to it. Now, I'm really looking forward to pulling Tiamat, but if I don't, I'm just really excited to see the art. I grew up reading Forgotten Realms and Dritz Duerden novels, and kind of all of them, really. And I've always been a huge fan of Dungeons & Dragons, so kind of combining the two together is a great concept for me. I love the artwork of Magic the Gathering. I know I've said it a billion times. But let's see what we got. So we got a fairy dragon token creature. I really like that. I like that artwork. It's really nice. Excited to see what I got. Bar the gate. Jaded Sellsword. Ooh, a Beholder. One of my favorite D&D monsters. I actually want to paint one of these up. I'm sure you guys can tell that I do a bit of painting on the side here. Planning on making some videos about that as well. Warhammer 40k Apothecary in the work in progress right now. Compelled Duel. Skullport Merchant. Purple Worm. Got a basic mountain, orb of dragon kind, and here's one of the full arts. It is the vengeful ancestor, but it is a full art card. And it looks like our other one here is a legendary creature, Orcus, Prince of the Undeath. Classic D and D artwork here. We got the Celestial Unicorn, Evolving Wild Dungeon card, Emirith Desert Doom. Lots of dragons in this set. Lurking Roper and Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Very interesting. I'm super excited to kind of see these. And I like the fact that this deck included a ton of different dragons. I know it's a Dungeons and Dragons set, but you would expect less there. Next one is this bundle. Let me go ahead and pull the plastic wrap off. So this is a collector box. It's going to come with dice and instructions on how to play it as well. It has 10 booster packs. So it's just a bundle. 
I wish I could zoom out a little bit here. Let's see. So you got the Magic of the Dragon. You have Dritz Duerden and Guinevere fighting off a dragon. And we'll see what we get. So there's our first half. There's our second half. And Dungeon of the Mad Mage is our kind of giant card here for one of the dungeons. I think there's a couple in here, so let's go ahead and start with that. So Dungeon of the Mad Mage, Lost Mine of Flandir, and Tomb of Annihilation. That is awesome. Those are very classic D&D &D modules and dungeons there that people run all the time. Oh, and this box, this little box was completely empty. I'll just put it off to the side here. And let's take a look what we get in the package. First of all, we got these nice dragon scale pattern. And we open it up. Set this off to the side there. So we get our 10 booster packs. And these are not just like very like small booster packs. They're the 15 cards. Draft packs. But we will look at those in just a minute. I'm guessing these are all of our kind of treasure cards. We'll take a look at those. And our land cards. So technically there's everything in here to start playing. I don't know if it's for one player set or two player set. I think it's one player. Popular formats, just a little bit of information. I don't play a ton of Magic the, the, or Magic the Gathering. But I do know a little bit about it. Comes with this nice giant D20. So we can focus on this. This is a really nice dice. I like it. And, ooh, it's a three. Which, boots are all for my normal rolls. I've never been a high roller in Dungeons and Dragons. But I like this dice. I will add it to my dice set somewhere over here. Put it up there for now. So let's just take a quick look at the land cards. There's nothing super crazy in here. Just your standard pack of land. And mana cards, as they're more commonly called. But I love the artwork. So let's just take a quick scan through here. Planes. It's like a multiple different types. Island. Oh, come on, focus. See if I could focus this. There we go. Nothing super crazy, just islands, swamps, all your standard mana. A couple of each color. Obviously, this isn't enough to sit there and play a full game with. But adding to my already growing collection of cards from all these pack openings, I should have enough to create a good deck. But there's not really a lot of people in my area that play. At least that I know of. Plus with all the mask mandates and stuff of 2020. Things have gotten harder to find. So treasure chest. Oh, got some holographic planes and land cards as well. Those are nice. So it looks like these are just some more lands. Which might give you enough to make a deck, but still kind of skimpy. If you are looking into a decent sized game, well, a decent sized creature pool, I guess. Your mana deck will need quite a bit more than the types that they've gave us here. But those are all holographic ones. Pretty cool. That's it for everything in the box. Just our booster packs left. 
So let's go ahead and open these up. Like I said, I'm really hoping for Tiamat or Loth. We will see what we get. Perceptious drop. Find the path. Dragon's fire. Bar the gate again. Except this one's not the holographic one. Ooh, paladin shield. So we have an equipment here. You come to the knoll camp. And it gives you two different things that you can do. Pretty cool little instant cast card. Steadfast Paladin. Aborea Pegasus. I love this classic art that they've got going in here. Definitely got that old classic Dungeons and Dragons vibe that I've played plenty of. Albear. I might just keep that one out just because it's one of those creatures that's very iconic. Ooh, we got a Drider here. Does this mean that this set might have Loth in it somewhere? I hope so. Tiger Tribe Hunter. And of course, going back to the Drider here, just because I like the lore behind Forgotten Realms, this is kind of an undead creature that is spawned at the will of the Spider Queen Loth. And... In the books, like the Dritzord series, it actually goes out and hunts Dritz down, but in the end is defeated. Cloister Gargoyle. The Selfless Paladin. This is one of those that I've heard really good things about. People really like this card. I like the look of it. It got that very classic D&D feel. You meet in the tavern. Such a classic story. Another mountain card. And a spider. Not too shabby. But that new deer card I've heard good things about. I think it's going to be one of the more collectible ones that people want for playing. Like I said, I'm not huge on Magic the Gathering as much as I wanted to get these for the Forgotten Realms aspect because I love the Forgotten Realms. And the Dungeons and Dragons crossover was just calling my name. Shambling Ghast. Hill Giant. Herd Gorger. Valor Singer. Scion of Stygia. Ooh, potions of healing. A zombie ogre. Interesting. You find the villain's lair. Goblin javelin. Sorry, javeliner. Wow, I can't talk tonight. But I love goblins. If I was to get serious into Magic the Gathering playing it, I'd probably build a goblin fast attack deck. Another iconic D&D character here is the Mimic. Super awesome. Neverwinter Dryad. Divine Smite. Ray of Enfeeblement. Faradil Devil's Chosen. That's pretty cool. The Fighter Class. A Swamp Card. And another Tomb of Annihilation, which pairs well with the big one. Don't see if you would actually use a big card in the actual game much. Not that it's a bad thing, but 
just takes up a lot of space and it's kind of hard to carry around. But can we get Lolf? Oh, I missed a card. Oh, it's another one of the tombs. Or dungeons. Plummet. Destroy a target creature with flying. Earth Cult Elemental. Shortcut Seeker. Gloom Stalker. Grim Bounty. Destroy a target creature or planeswalker. Create a treasure token. Sylvan Shepherd. This one might actually be pretty good. Of course, D20s can be unpredictable. But anytime you attack, you gain life. Silver Raven. Hobgoblin Captain. You find the cursed idol. Dingen Wind Seeker. Gretchen Titch Hollow. Titch Willow, sorry. Wandering Troubadour. Ray of Frost. Xanathar Guild Kingpin. That's awesome. If you play D&D, &D, there's a book called Xanathar's Guide, and it has a ton of different things in it, like monsters, items, really cool book. Works great with 5th edition. Some nice cards. Lots of cards in there I not so much want to play with, but definitely keep around and collect. Just for the art. Boots of Speed. Contact Other Plane. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Mace. A plus two mace, so magic mace. Splute your ghoul. Compelled duel. Kick in the door. My cat's going crazy. Plundering Barbarian. Improvised Weaponry. Evolving Wild. Sacrifice Evolving Wild. Search your library for a basic land card and put that into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. So, land drawing card. Ooh, Cleric class. That's my go-to class whenever I'm playing a Dwarf Cleric. Although the last one I did was a Dwarf Cleric that was worshipping the God of Death, so it was kind of a nice little spin on it. We got the Warlock class right after that. A loathsome Troll. Orb of Dragonkind. Holographic Mountain. Regular Mountain. And Tomb of Annihilation again. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be getting those cards. I might have to go out and pick up some more booster packs. Either that or I'll order some singles. There's some of these that I really want, but I also don't want to have to spend a million dollars trying to find them in a booster pack. Jaded Sellsword. We already got that one once. Secret Door. Potion of Healing, Thieves Tools, Circle the Moon Druid, or Circle of the Moon Druid, Dragon's Fire, Hoarding Ogre. That's cool. 
You're ambushed on the road. Make a retreat or stand and fight. Celestial Unicorn. Clattering Skeletons. Blink Dog. Has Telesport and a Double Strike. Choose your weapon. Two Weapon Fighting or Archery. A Centric Apprentice. Hall of Storm Giants. If you control two or more other lands, Hall of Storm Giant enters the battlefield tap. Add one water. I love that artwork. Forest. And Zell, Archduke of Everness. Interesting. Not sure. That name sounds familiar, but I can't place the character. Help me out. If any of you guys are huge Forgotten Realms fans, let me know where that's from. Also, comment down below your favorite class. I'm a huge D&D fan, love playing through it. But let me know what your favorite class is. Mace, Eye of the Beholder, target creature gain, gets negative 11, 11 till the end of the turn. That might be good to keep on hand to destroy some of those bigger creatures. Spoils of the Hunt, Brazen Dwarf, a Dwarf Shaman, interesting concept. Contacting the other plane, Delver's Torch, you find the villain's lair, Improvised Weaponry, Bayful Bullholder, Devour Intellect, Displacer Beast, Ray of Frost, Eccentric Apprentice again, Orcus Prince of the Undeath, Plains, and Lost Mines. Nothing super crazy in there. Getting a lot of repeats. Which is great if you're trying to build a magic deck to play with. And I know that's kind of what this was designed for. It's the draft booster, so it lets you build up a deck. So there may be a lot of repeats in here, just because most people want to play a deck that way. What's this? The Atropile. Token legendary creature, God Horror. That's cool. And it has the Tomb of Annihilation on the back. Okay. Princepsis Drop. Bull Strength. Armor Veteran. Sky on Australia. Room Stalker. Ranger's Hawk. That's a different one. Albear. Ooh, I like this Albear better than the other one. The one was the D and D artwork, but this is like classic. Direwolf Prowler, Spare Dagger, another Blink Dog, Raven Feeblement, the classic Purple Worm. Awesome. Volo Guide to Monsters. Legendary creature, it's a human wizard. I like it. I have Vecina. Legendary artifact, that's our nice little holographic. And a mountain energy. Nothing super crazy. I saw someone open up a pack that like their first pack of getting these and got Tiamat. Not gonna lie. That would have been awesome. But let's see what we got. We have, what, two more left? Zombie Ogre again. Wolfguard Ranger. 
Faraday's Fireball. Secret Door. Half Elf Monk. Grim Bounty. Another Silver Raven. You see a Guard Approach. Neverwinter Dryad. The Knoll Hunter. Fifty feet of rope. Battlecry Goblin. Goblins you control get a 1-1 one, one and gain haste until the end of the turn. Guild Thief. Forsworn Paladin. Forest. And a zombie token creature. Not too shabby. Especially if you're playing a swamp deck. I have tons of zombie cards. Little token creatures. Which are great. Ranger's Longbow. Unexpected Windfall. Mordekind's Polymorph. Devoted Paladin. An Orc Paladin. Interesting. Splute your goal. Ghoul, sorry. Veteran Dungeoneer. You come to a river. Feign Death. Celestial Unicorn. Wandering Troubadour. Choose your weapon. A Red Dragon. Well, there's a classic. The Book of Exalted Deeds. I heard this one's pretty good too, but it's one of those that's very difficult to work into a deck. Got a Leather Armor. Swamp. And then just the Welcome to Magic the Gather Arena card. I wish there was a way to get these cards uploaded into Magic the Gathering Arena. Like a code, kind of like they do with Pokemon. Could be fun. Brazen Dwarf. Contact Other Plane. Delver's Touch. Perceptious Drop. Bull's Strength. Armor Veteran, Ranger's Hawk, Baleful Beholder, Devourer's Intellect, Cradle of Baldur's Gate, Battlecry Goblin, Dungeon Map, Mordecai. That's a nice little Planeswalker at least. First Planeswalker we've got. Forest, Swamp, Angel Token. Alright, well that does it for those, but I do have a few other booster packs over here. Again, more Magic the Gathering. I just put them off to the side. Didn't know how long this video was going to be going through those. But... Just an assorted collection of boosters I've collected over time. These are the newer ones. I am going to put these cards, though, up so I don't mess them up too much here. This box that they give is a nice little deck box. So not anything I wanted specifically in these boosters. So I'm going to have to keep trying. But what was your favorite card out of the Forgotten Realms here? Whether I have it or not, let me know which ones you guys are getting. All right, I can put these up. I'm gonna keep that dice out because that's gonna go in my dice bag. Since I play less magic, having a giant d20 is always fun. Ooh, smack the camera. Let's see if I can get this to refocus. So, I've had these for a while. I just feel like it's time to get them opened. 
I just had another video I put up with Digimon cards. Again, booster packs I've had for a while. So let's get started. A 12 card booster pack here. It is an older set though. Called him. Probably butchering these names. Sometimes these names are crazy. Let's see what we got. A Dwarf Berserker. Building a Dwarf deck would be fun too. Harnfell Horn of Bounty. So, two cards there, and then we'll flip it over. Let's see what this is. It's the Art Series card. I like that. I like art. Like these Magic the Gathering art, that's one of the reasons I got into collecting them. I know most of these cards aren't worth a ton, but I do love the artwork. Elder Fang Disciple, Ice Tunnel, Feed the Serpent, Jarl of the Forsaken, Great Hall of Stranhim, Rampage of the Valkyries, Stranhim a Sprint, Youthful Valkyrie, Valkyrie Sword, Sigrid the God Favored, Sculptor of Winter, pretty cool. Let's see if I have any more of those to kind of get them out of the way. Like I said, this is just a mix of all different sorts of packs. Now this is a draft booster, so... Maybe less in it for, like, collecting purposes. But we'll see. Who knows, maybe there's something really cool in this one. Guard Bargor, a Dwarven Warrior, Depart the Realm, Imistrum Raider, Valor of the Worthy, Mammoth Growth. I love using Mammoth Growth in a forest decks. It's a nice way to boost those creatures up. Elder Fang Disciple. Raven form, a giant ox, another sculptor of winter, Clarion spirit, Vega the watcher, divine gambit, another god favored. Alpine Meadow, so a snow land, it counts as mountains and plains. Vengeful Reaper, an Angel Cleric. And Replicated Ring. Add one mana of any color. Not too bad. I'm assuming this deck is kind of Viking inspired or the set I guess not deck got some Strickhaven I also have a booster box kinda like the Forgotten Realm ones of Strickhaven and then I have the 2021 set as well I'll open those at another time though this video is getting a little bit long I don't want to keep everybody going forever Rise of Exodus, Spiteful Squad, Civil Quill Plague Mage, Twin Scrolls, Twin Scrolls Shaman, 
More dwarven shamans. Spined croc. Promising Dusk Mage. Expel. Burr Frog Befuddler. It's a frog wizard. That artwork's awesome. I like it. Fuming Effigy. Environmental Science. Returned Past Caller. Anther Helix. Master Symmetrist. Callous Blood Mage. Yurza's Rage. And just kind of a blank. <coughs> Apologize about that. Came out of nowhere. Let's see, do I have another Strickhaven? I do. Let's go with that one. Then we'll do the Zendikar Rising, and then the last two, Modern Horizons 2. Oh, that one had an anti-theft sticker in it that took me forever to rip through. It's sad that they have had to put anti-theft stickers in the, inside the packaging nowadays. Too many people out there stealing these cards. Witherbloom Campus, Blood Researcher, Witherbloom Pledge Mage. That is an awesome artwork. Big Play, Novus Desecrator. Beaming Defiance, a Vortex Runner, Pigment Storm, Tangle Trap, Academic Probation, Tenured Ink Caster, Academic Dispute, Prismari Apprentice, Feverant Mastery, Snakeskin Veil. And then we get a pest creature. When this creature dies, you gain one life. Let's do Zendikar Rising. Tell me if there's anything good in here. I'm not super familiar with all of the magic side of things. Like I said, I don't play magic much. I've collected these because I love the artwork, and that's really the only reason. I played some back in, what was it, like the 6th edition sets. I had a Goblin Fast Attack, and literally my favorite card was the Goblin Glider. Wasn't a really good card, but one of my favorites. Tazim Raptor. Sneaking Guide. Zillaport Duelist, a Mesa Lynx, Drana Silencer, Expedition Sul, Grotog Bug Catcher, another Goblin, Feed the Swarm, Expedition Diviner, Nisa Zindicoin. Spoils of Adventure, Skyclaw or Skyclave Shadow Cat, Belged Recovery, Master of Winds, a very unique forest card. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I know it's not super unique, it's just part of the set, but one I've never seen is always nice. And then another one of those blank cards. Alright. Now, on to our draft boosters for the Modern Horizons 2. Two more packs to open in this one. If you guys are enjoying yourselves, definitely come back.
give me a like, subscribe. I'm going to try to do more videos. They may not be pack openings. I plan on getting some painting done as well. So, interested in Warhammer or miniature painting in general, come hang out. I'll do some live streams and we'll see what we can find. Bird and Aerialist. Mount Veluse Manticore. Jewel Eyed Cobra. Foul Watcher. Sinister Starfish. Soul of my mig Migration, sorry. Wow. Chatterstorm. Step Through. Glimmer Byron. Faithless Salvaging. Foundation Breaker. Legion Vanguard. Prismatic Ending. Sky Ridge Familiar. Harmonic Prodigy. And a Squirrel. Squirrely, 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 squirrel. One more pack. All right. Haggy Mob. Master Skald, Drugo Thought Thief, Jaspira Sentinel, Village Rites, Invoking the Divine, Sorrowful's Packmate, Jarl of the Forsaken, Open the Omen Paths. Ravenwing, Hellstorm Valkyrie, another awesome piece of artwork there, Doomseeker Titan, Giant's Amulet, Sarlf Realm Eater, a legendary wolf creature, Snow Covered Forest, and a human warrior as a token. Awesome. So that does it for most of my pack openings. I will say this though. I do have some Pokemon Chilling Rains English to open up. As well as some just general booster packs. And I'm looking to get some more of the Forgotten Realm ones. I really like those artworks. I really want to try to get into those. But I want to thank you guys again for joining me. And feel free to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite D&D class is. Favorite Forgotten Realms character. Anything along those lines. Thank you for joining the route. And enjoy the rest of your night.